Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. So this week's topic is all about 3D Sketch. So let's take a look at what it can do for you. So the 3D Sketch command is one of these commands that you might need to use every so often. Um, I'm going to start by just creating a sketch on this front plane, and you'll notice in my sketch palette I have this option for 3D Sketch. And currently it's turned on. And I see this question all the time on why when I'm clicking in my sketch do I get this weird blue triad thing that's kind of in the way? Well, that is because it's related to the 3D sketch. If I turn that off and draw normally, you'll notice you don't see that triad, okay? So that's the first tip is if you see that, go ahead and turn it off. But in this example, we want to turn it on and we're going to create some geometry. So I'm going to start with the line command and let's just draw to the right and down a little bit. Now I'm going to start to rotate isometrically so you can kind of see what's going on here. So you can see I've been sketching on a sheet of paper that's basically on this blue plane that you kind of see highlighted. Well, now I want to start drawing back away from this. So I can select one of these other planes. So for example, this top plane here, I'll go ahead and click on that. And now you can see like the piece of paper is laying flat and I can start to draw in that direction. So I'll go ahead and click there. Well, now I want to draw up, but it's still on this flat piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of these other planes like that one there and that will let me sketch upwards. And so you can kind of see I'm rotating so you can visually see where the paper is in space basically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move up and I'm gonna purposely make a mistake here and kind of draw it at a weird angle. And then same thing here, I might click on like this top view here and I'm just gonna do an, a slight angle like so. And you can kind of see how we're drawing these lines in three dimensions. Now one of the cool things with 3D sketching is I can actually catch to other points in space. So for example, you can see how it's snapping to that point right there. So I'll go ahead and click there and we've created this particular shape. Now I purposely made the mistakes to kind of show the power of what you can do inside of Fusion. I can actually create constraints with this 3D sketch. So for example, I could say, I want this line to be vertical. So I'm going to click on it and you can see how it's now vertical. I could say, I want these two lines to be parallel with each other. And you'll see how that will become parallel with each other. And then I could come in here and say, I want um, this line here and here to be perpendicular with each other and we now get this result. Now I'll take a look at it from the right side and it looks like that's at a slight angle. So I could do the same thing where I could say uh, parallel. I'll say that line and that line are parallel with each other. And you can see how that's now fixed, like so. I can also add dimensions on here. So let's throw a dimension on this line here and it's close to three. So I'll just say three. I'll do the same thing on this line here. We'll make that the same as that dimension. And you can see how that grew. And then finally, maybe I'll throw a dimension on here and let's just make that two in this case. So you can kind of see how quickly I was able to create this particular shape. I'll go ahead and maybe add some fillets on here. And then we'll use the pipe command to create uh, a component that kind of follows along. So I'm just adding fillets to all of these corners. And then these two lines here. I'll go ahead and finish my sketch and create a pipe select my profile and you can see we get this particular shape and I'll go ahead and increase the, the size of that. So you can see how I could create a clip or something like this pretty quickly and easily using the uh, 3D sketch command. 
You can also use it for doing kind of like complex surfaces. So for example, I'm going to create a new sketch. This time um, I'll do it on the top view. I'll make sure my 3D sketch is turned on and I'm going to use the spline command. And I'm just going to click a couple points out here in space. So I'll just do something like this, something like this, and here. Now I'm going to rotate isometrically, and these points are all flat. They're on a flat piece of paper. But now I want to kind of bend the surface down a little bit. So I'm going to click one of these other planes, like so. And then I can pick a point, and you can see that that point is down on that piece of paper. Then I'll do the same thing. I'll click on this flat plane there. And let's just do maybe something like this. So you can kind of see how those two points are on the same plane. And then I'll come back and join with the original point. And I now have this shape that kind of looks like this from the top and looks like this from the side. Okay. Now I might want to clean this up a little bit. And another tip that I use is I'll just use some construction geometry to kind of define the shape. So for example, I might draw um, a line between those two points. I might draw a line between uh, those two points. And then same thing here. And maybe even connect like these um, four points like so, let's just say. So I'm kind of building some, some construction cage geometry. And we can use this to help us out. So for example, I could say I want that line and that line to be equal. And I want this line and this line to be equal. And you can kind of see how it changed that. But they're a little bit crooked. So let's go ahead and do uh, perpendicular. And so you can kind of see how it brought that across. And now everything is kind of nice and even. I'll go ahead and finish my sketch, jump into my surface patch, and we just created a, a surface that looks kind of like this, for example. So you can use the 3D sketch uh, for creating surfaces. And then lastly, you could do something, for example, like creating the spring for like a clothespin, for example. Um, I could probably do this using uh, regular geometry, but I'd have to do a lot of like axes through cylinders and then planes at an angle and all kind of stuff. It would take quite a bit of time. But with 3D Sketch, I can do this very quickly. So let's just start by creating a coil. Um, and let's just do uh, maybe uh, 0.5 for the diameter. And I'm just going to shrink this guy down so the coils are a little bit closer to each other. Let's just do um, 0.65 in this case. Okay, then I'm going to um, use my 3D sketch. So I'll create a sketch. And it doesn't even matter which plane I start on. In fact, I can click on this top plane as it's like makes the least amount of sense in this case. And then I'll use my line command, making sure my 3D sketch is turned on. And then I'm just going to hover over the circle and you can kind of see it found that point for me. So I'll click there and I want to draw straight out. It actually selected the correct plane for me. So I'm just going to draw, let's just go out maybe um, one inch in this case. Now I need to draw straight down. So I'll select this point here and I can grab one of these other planes to define drawing straight down. And again, I'll go like, let's just say 0.5 in that direction. Okay. Then I can, for example, add a quick fillet. We'll say that's good. Finish my sketch. And if I do my sweep command, I can now sweep that profile along this path. And let's go ahead and join that together. And you can see the result that we get. Okay. Now I need to do the other one. Um, it's in the wrong orientation. So I'm going to quickly use the move command 
I'm going to move some faces and let's just go ahead and select that face. Let's rotate it around the uh, center axis here. And I'm just going to kind of rotate that backwards and let's just go maybe um, 135 degrees in this example. Okay. Then I'll do my sketch one more time. Again, doesn't matter which plane I'm on because we're going to do a 3D sketch. I'll go ahead and um, select my line, make sure it's a 3D sketch, grab that center point there, and type in um, the distance of one, and let's do um, 35 degrees. I'll say OK. And then let's draw a line straight up from there. Again, picking the plane that makes sense, I'll, I'll grab that plane there and go 0.5. So I can be very specific um, on distances, directions. Uh, I'll go ahead and fill it that, say OK, and sweep. So there's my profile. Here's my path, and we'll join that together. So you can see how I was able to quickly create the spring using the 3D sketch. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.